trying to be. So I just got to the shop. Ugh, chaos this week. So my chicken nugget just sold. <laughs> my last one. Uh, and then I've got a new addition. This is um, Jeanette from Miss Hootie Hootin's Crafts uh, video. I'll leave her link down below. But <laughs> Hers was small and fat and cute. This one's big. So, yeah. Nope. Summers. Okay. I just sold a Elvis chicken. <laughs> Oh, today's a good day so far, thank goodness, because everything's about to get real. Um, this wall is coming down in two days. Two days! It's being done early. Freaking out a little bit about it, because I'm not prepared. Um, I'm desperately trying to get prepared. <sighs> yeah. Because the wallpaper that I wanted to put up is not going to be here in time. So I ended up having to buy a new wallpaper on Amazon. And, uh, yeah. So, but uh, it's happening, guys. It's happening sooner than I wanted it. But it's happening. And there's always a reason for it. So, I've, I've heard that the um, knitters are eagerly waiting to find out what's going to happen here. So that's good. Um, the sweater that I got commissioned, I think I told you guys I got commissioned to do a sweater. Um, and she changed the sweater three, no, twice. And then she added onto it. <laughs> so the baby sweater that I make um, it's a Simona cro Simona's crochet pattern. Um, she wants the whole sweater done like that in baubles. So that's what I've been doing. Um, hang on. So this is it. I don't know if you guys can see all the baubles. And in black. <laughs> oh, I've got stuff all over this. So that's what I'm doing right now. That's the back piece. And then she came in and she said that she was wondering if I could do a butterfly on the back. So I researched it and I came up with the idea. I don't know if I told you guys this. I, I, I'm all over the place, you guys. Um, the butterfly crochet tops that they have out, I decided to make one and put that on the back. So hang on, I'll show it to you. So I'm in the process of blocking it right now, but... So that is going to go on the back of the sweater. So that on black. It's going to be amazing. This is going to be my pride and joy. This is going to be an epic sweater for me. Um, the sleeves are going to be in that bobble stitch in these colors. So I've never made anything like this before. Um, and I, I, I'm already proud of it. And I'm not even finished it. I'm debating if I can get it done. I'm debating whether or not to put that in that fair um, to see if I can win a ribbon for it. I think I could. I think I could get first place, but um, it depends on when I can get this finished. With the expansion happening this quickly, I don't know if I can do it. So, <clears throat> um, what else? Uh, George went for his colonoscopy. Um, everything was fine. There was no thing, no, nothing to report. So that's good. God, my hair's a mess. Um, so that's good. That makes me really happy. Uh, so I got my car back today. I, that was a fiasco and a half, let me tell you. 
my sister my sister and I went to Victoria and on my way back the car started to overheat and I just took it in like a couple weeks before to have all of that stuff looked at so <clears throat> we made it home and I took it in and I found out that it was a little fuse that was the problem so I got that fixed um, and then I got my car back this morning and I rushed into work. So, yeah. Um, I, so yesterday I was off because George was having his colonoscopy done. My sister surprised me and came into the shop. I didn't know she was coming into the shop. So thank you, Charlene, I love you. <laughs> um, it seems like when I'm not here, she sells more than I do. So, yay, her. <laughs> It's like I'm, it's crazy. <laughs> um, but anyways, uh, what else? Oh, I have an idea and kind of an announcement coming up. It'll be in a different video. Oh, hold on. Customers. <laughs> um, what else? Um, uh, it's been such a whirlwind over this last few days. My my emotions have been up and down and up and down and all over the place. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if there's anything else I have to talk about. Well then. Um, but anyways, I will uh, videotape what's going on over here. I won't be able to videotape the wall coming down. Um, because they're going to do it on our day off, which is kind of bu a bummer. <clears throat> it would have been kind of neat to watch that happen and uh, video it, but oh well. But I'll be able to videotape, or vid videotape, oh man, I'm showing my age. I'll be able to um, vlog the um, transformation here uh, on... Sunday. Hi. On Sunday, uh, Michelle's boyfriend is going to be coming in and helping me take all this stuff down. And George is going to be coming in and helping me move all these bookcases over to the other side. And uh, and then some of these are going to go over there. It's like, it's a thing. So, yeah. Um, big changes. Big changes. Good changes. I'm feeling really positive today. Uh, so, yeah, onward and upward, guys. I'll talk to you guys later. Hello, Yarnabees. Okay, so today is Saturday. Saturday, Saturday. Oh, Saturday. <laughs> Today's Saturday. And the wall is coming down tomorrow night. Yay! So. Tomorrow's going to be a cluster. I'm going to have a bunch of us in, um, in the shop trying to dismantle everything and um, move things around a little bit, try and get it out of Tony's way. Tony's the one that's coming in to um, take down the wall. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, no. God, you guys are always falling down. Stop it. <sighs> A little better. <laughs> Alright, so, um, I don't have all the information in front of me, so I can't talk to you about that. I have, um, I have something I want to do, and I figured that we would be the perfect people to do that because... You're my yarn of bees. Um, I was watching, oh, what is it? Katie's crochet, no. I'll put it right here. I was watching her channel and she got in touch, or she got um, an email from a lady who is doing a fundraiser, not, not a fundraiser, it's not a fundraiser, um, she's collecting crocheted bees, okay, the 
story behind it is that her dad, he's a beekeeper, and he ended up getting cancer. I think it was colon cancer, don't quote me. Um, <clears throat> so while he was in the hospital having his treatments, she crocheted him a bee. And she used the pattern from this girl's channel. So, um, yeah, I think it's Katie's crochet or something like that. Katie creates something. Anyway, um, so she used that pattern and she crocheted her dad a bee so that he would have that when he went in for his treatments. And <clears throat> so she started this organization kind of thing, I guess it is. Um, and I think it's called Be With You, like B-E-E, -E -E, Be With You. Um, and so she's collecting crocheted bees and she would, I mean, she's asking that people use this pattern. Uh, it's a free pattern because she would like to support this podcaster as well, which I thought was a brilliant idea. And her bees are really cute. <coughs> um, so anyway, uh, she's collecting them so that she can give them out to people that are going through cancer treatments and to let them know that they're being thought about and that <coughs> we, we are there to support and, and whatnot. So I thought it was a brilliant idea. I was, I thought, geez, you know what? Because my channel is, has, <laughs> has turned into um, bee related uh, in a sense. And for those of you that are new that don't know, um, right from the beginning of my channel pretty much, I have been calling my subscribers my Yarnabies. And it was, it, it was a, an endearment that I came up with because my husband, George, he used to um, play rugby and they were called um, the used to bees. And their, co their costumes, their uniforms were black and yellow and they looked like little bees running around. So I thought it was really cute to, <coughs> to call my subscribers the Yarnabies. Um, so that's what I've done for the last four years of my channel being up. And from there, uh, I, I can't remember who it was, but they sent me my first bee. And they started calling me the Queen Bee. So, <laughs> so, um, so from that point on, everybody has been sending me bee-related stuff. So it kind of went from there. So when this came up, I thought, what better way, better people to support this than my Yarnabies? You know, so I'm calling out my hive and I'm asking everybody to support this and to crochet um, these bees and to send them to this organization to help people with cancer. So I'm going to leave all of the links down below. Uh, I'm leaving the website for the Be With You and um, you can contact the person that's organizing it. It's the, the gentleman's daughter and you, she's got an address there that you can send. She tells you all about what, like what it's all about and everything and uh, I, if you when, if you do this and when you do this I would appreciate it if you would send a note along saying that you are from crochet a, the crochet a Canada group and, and that um, you are a yarn -a bee and that Sandy sent you just so that she knows who we are and that we as a collective hive um, support them. Um, I think that would be really awesome. So, uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna see, as many, see how many I can get done. I probably
probably won't be able to get them done until after the renovation of the shop is done, but I'm going to start working on them. They take no time at all. They're just little tiny bees. <clears throat> um, but I think that would be, that would be <laughs> fantastic. So, yeah. Okay, guys, I'm going to sign off this video. And uh, we'll start up the next video tomorrow when we start 